here we are. Oh God, I am not emotionally ready for this. Like I realize that's essentially how I start all of my videos nowadays, but I'm not emotionally ready for Red vs. Blue season 15. Um, I didn't look at the description for the video. I, I think I saw something who was like a reporter. I think it was Dylan something was looking for answers. Um, it started playing as soon as I finished recording my last video, which was the tra uh, trailer reaction, which no surprise, I'm wearing the same fucking shirt. So, <laughs> um, I, I'm excited. God, I'm excited. And I really like this frog. I don't know what this frog is, but I love it. And I am so ready for this, but I'm probably not ready for this. I also feel like I should change the background for this, but at the same time, it's like, these are just always here. I might like move over so I'm sitting back on the couch again and just put one of my RBB posters behind it so you just see Carolina's legs because goddamn. Goddamn. Anyway, this is the Red vs. Blue episode one prologue. This is season 15 and I'm not emotionally ready. Here we go. I'm just gonna dive into it. Oh, it's a timer. That is a bomb. Huh. You touch my baked beans, I put dog shit in your pillowcase. Action, <laughs> reaction. That's rule number one. Got it. Don't touch your beans. Rule number two. Every other person in this miserable place is literal garbage. <laughs> don't talk to them, don't listen to them, don't become cute friends with them. Got it. No friends. Rule number three. <laughs> Keep your radio on at all times. Tell that to hey, Omega. Crazy. Your radio's off. I'm busy. <laughs> Something trip the motion sensor one floor down. Command wants you to take a look. Fucking command. Do I look like a goddamn exterminator? Yes. Vargas, show this bunny around. Bunny? He's uh, always like that. Goddamn dick shit. All bite, no bark. So, first deployment. Mm-hmm. Well, if you signed up looking for action, you won't be finding it here. We're a long way from chorus. <sighs> no, that, I don't want to fight anyone. Ain't that the whole appeal? Tuition. When I get out, I'll have a full ride to the college of my choice. True. I'm going to be a botanist. Botanist, huh? Well, I've never much trusted robots myself, but that's just because I grew up in the South. <laughs> out here, your main enemy is boredom. Boredom and a CEO who really loves putting dog shit in pillowcases. Well, I anticipated the boredom. That's why I brought along some books on tape. Books on tape? What's the appeal of that? Don't the pages get stuck together? Oh my god. That is a nice explosion. Oh shit. Jesus, Tucker. When did, when did Donut get there? Who's gonna walk out, Carolina? Please be Carolina. Please be Carolina. Please be Carolina. Please be Carolina. You're dead. You. You killed them. You're dead. All of them. You son of a bitch. That was some seamless transitioning there. No head. Is there no head? There's not gonna be a head. He's an AI! He's a fucking ghost! Is that the fucking end? Is that the- okay, it's not the end. A capital in chaos. As you can see behind me, UNSC police are swarming the scene of a brazen late night heist. We're told the attack has taken the lives of a dozen UNSC guards with untold millions in industrial goods stolen. She was gonna the UNSC be a has botanist. not identified suspects. However, the limited surveillance footage obtained by this reporter confirms an ugly surprise. The reds and blues have struck again. And cut. Got it. Is that a wrap? Let's pack it up. I want to get inside for the next pickup. Inside where? They're going to shoot us. They're not going to shoot us. Follow my lead and when in doubt, use a confusing acronym. <laughs> Military types love acronyms. Stop right that there, please. Gonna have to ask you to turn around and go back where you came. This is a restricted military AO. At ease, soldier. We're BADDAD, bomb action detection decision and diffusion. Bomb squad? You guys just left. That was RAR, rapid action response. We're FIAT, forensic identification analytic tech. I'm Corporal Pagina, and this is Lance Corporal Ducroy. Stand by. 
I'm gonna have to run this up the chain. No time. We have a live LOL RPG upstairs with a BPRD of over 5,000. God, that's a lot. We're expecting an LSAT RTAA in the next eight minutes. Okay, that sounds pretty it's big. Class one, F-U-B-A-R-F-O-S-H-L. Or F-U-B... He doesn't say a whole lot, does he? F he's a French analysis repair transfer. No English, but he's the best L cars DDR in the entire AOL. Ain't that right, Decroy? We. Oui. Oui. <laughs> yeah, all right, we better make it quick. Over 5,000. Jeez. Over 5,000! Easy. FML. This stands for fuck. With no clear motive established, many experts have concluded the Reds and Blues are attacking the UNSC on behalf of a free chorus. Since its what? rediscovery, the small colony has insisted on remaining independent from the rest of the galaxy, a demand that does not sit well with the members of the UNSC. Makes sense. These recent attacks have only complicated the negotiation process, and the UNSC has threatened extreme measures if the attacks do not stop immediately. Public opinion has shown increasing support for military intervention, oh boy. which brings... Hey, who the hell are you two? We're documenting. We're with UNSC intelligence. Who are you? Intelligence, huh? We'll see about that. Stay where you are. Follow me. Oh no. Shit. You need to leave. They're gonna lock us up and throw away the Can it. Are you rolling? Christ. Speed. Which brings us to the events of last night. The Reds and Blues invaded the secure the supply depot, leaving no survivors to tell their tale. They took whatever they came for and left behind a grotesque symbol of their butchery. No answers. Did they just found leave Church tonight. Summit around? Only all more questions. Is it what are they up is to? Is it their trademark? And what? Is their end game? Breathe! Don't move! You are under arrest! That's a wrap. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll let you rot. Maybe next time I sell the story to ZZN. Ooh. You know their offer was open ended. Oh, just do it already. For what I'm paying you, I can float a new department and give myself a big boy raise. Oh, uh, don't forget, you'll also have a lot more room in your office without my awards cluttering the place. Ooh. Oh, excuse me, I forgot who I was talking Lopez to. Stock. God's gift to journalism. Can we start over? I bend down and kiss your boots. How's that? We can start over. You can agree to cover the follow-up. You're going to bankrupt the station, Dylan. I'm going to lose my job. How am I going to support my ex-wives without my job? There's a story here. And I want to be the one to chase it down. You're taking swats at windmills, Andrews. The reds and blues are old news anyway. People are bored of them. Why don't you do a story about those monster-fighting sexy teenagers? Yeah! My kids love those nutnicks. How can you say the reds and blues are boring? After what they did on Chorus? Please, that was ages ago. Ten months. Frickin' lifetime ago. We live in a 24-hour news cycle, Andrews. Ten months ago, every journalist, talk show host, and shitty internet blogger would have sold a kidney to interview those guys. But they disappeared. Now, they're just everyday criminals. Face facts. These characters don't have the depth you think they do. I profiled the Reds and Blues after Project Freelancer. Oh, shit. I know them. This change in their design must be motivated by something big. Oh, design is an oddly specific word. Every time you start on one of these damn crusades, I start pissing kidney stones like hail, like a Tommy gun down there. Jesus. Two weeks, Carlos. I'm not asking for the moon. You want two? You got one. You want rope? You'll give me enough to hang myself with. Thanks a million, honey bucket. And I want daily dispatches. I want to know every step you take and how much shit gets stuck on your shoes and in between your teeth. Of course. So, where to first, Quixote? <laughs> I'll start where Agent man. Washington did when he tracked down the Reds and Blues. Blood Gulch. At the beginning. Aww. Oh, come on. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised that it stopped there, but... I'm excited. <laughs> oh. God, what the fuck? Like That was That was different. And it really has my gears turning. Like one Church boy, you did. Two just the, the just the part with the splatter and just the wiping it off. That that wasn't church. That that was one of the many things that I love about RT animation is that they have this, now that they're working in Maya, now that they have people who are better trained in Maya, um, 
like now, now that the animation team is as big as it is, frankly, is that they can be a little bit more subtle with their animations. And that was not, that was not Church. Or at least not Church as we know. Which, I mean, Church kind of ain't that a bitch out, so it clearly couldn't be. And like, there is always the possibility of fragments, which is, you know, Alpha Epsilon style, but that doesn't seem entirely right either. Because a fragment of a fragment of a fragment, that would just be mindlessly confusing. <laughs> So there has to be some of it, but the way, the way that the movement was, it wasn't... It was very, not stilted, but it was, it was just like very, it was very slow, but very like disturbingly graceful, if that makes sense. And none of them spoke. That, that's the thing that has me like the, the most out of it is none of them said anything. Which is not like them. If they, if they were pulling off a heist, you'd be there like, Griff, Simmons, get over here! Like, Sarge, you're supposed to be quiet! Griff, Simmons, what did I just say? Get my shotgun! And distant caboose, do it like, I would like freckles to be here. Who wants to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Who wants to go outside? Let's go outside! Oh my god, we're outside! Like, it wouldn't be... Quite. It wouldn't be so surgical, but it was. So this, this is not good. I don't think these are the reds and blues. I don't. But also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the whole acronym? I, I want to think that those. I think those acronyms are probably gonna spell some shit out. Uh, I, I tried figuring it out like during the thing, but I was like, no, I need to watch. I need to watch. But <laughs> you have to give her prop. You gotta give Dylan props for thinking on her feet. Secondly, I kind of want to cosplay Dylan at RTX, so shit. But, so she was the one who did their profiles after Project Freelancer. So before Chorus. So be it must have been like once they were, before they were on the ship that was taking them back. So before, it was in between those two like, moments. So she knows them. Where is Wash? And Carolina. I can understand potentially not having Carolina in this because I think, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming here, I mean, I'm not too great with her voice yet, but I'm, I'm assuming that, I think that was Jen Brown for the voice of Dylan. Um, so if they had D Dylan and Carolina, like, don't get me wrong, like, Jen Brown is an amazing voice actress, but I feel like they don't, they don't want to like accidentally have anything get confused. Like I could definitely see there could potentially be confusion because it's such a, like, a heavy audio-based show, but I don't know. I think there's, I think, like, that may have been, like, the reason for it, but there's definitely more to it than that. There is definitely some other components in here. Like, there's a reason why the two freelancers of the Reds and Blues aren't being mimicked, or whatever the word is that accurately describes the situation. There's definitely a reason. I don't know what. All right, so I have a lot to think on, but thank you guys for stopping by, tuning in, watching the video. Um, I hope that this season is proving to be interesting. I've always had a lot of fun with Leather vs. Blue. I never did reactions for it, but I always remember having very strong reactions to it. So this will be fun, because I did. Re I was doing RVB14 last year, and then I was kind of like, you know what, this isn't as narrative as I usually like doing reaction stuff, so I was gonna, you know, not do it. but. I am very much intrigued. I'm also seriously impressed with Dylan and I low-key want to draw her right now. I already have like a picture in my head. Like, I was thinking it'd be funny if people drew her as a redhead just because Jen Brown always seems to play redheads and like I can imagine it, but honestly I'm just picturing like pixie cut, brown black hair, like that, like that look that's like it's t kind of resting bitch face, but it's more of a I will see through your like flimsy skeleton in your flesh and see every lie in your fucking soul. And by the way, I'm fucking fabulous, so I need to draw her immediately is what I'm getting from this. And <laughs> low-key almost want to give her red hair just for shits and giggles. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are going to be a lot shorter than my Ruby ones because um, I need more than just one episode to theorize on because it's a new arc. It's not like Ruby where... It's a different story arc, but still in like the same universe. This is like picking up 
10 months after chorus, like, we are very deliberately missing a giant chunk of information. And because of that, it makes it a little bit tricky to theorize at the moment without going like frame by frame by frame by frame. And I don't want to do that on camera because that can get very boring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, look out because I'm going to be having these coming out every Sunday. So it's like that the episodes go public. So for example, this will be coming out on the 9th, ideally. So I believe this episode, this episode, this video will be out for you guys to watch on the 9th, I think. And then... Uh, I found my old camp camp reactions, so I'm going to be finishing putting those up hopefully on Thursdays, and again streaming on Twitch on Fridays. Hopefully I can be able to multi-twitch, uh, multi-stream soon, so it's both on Twitch and on YouTube, but I'm a little bad at navigating the chat with Twitch as it is, so we'll see how it goes. Um, that being said, I do have another Ruby video planned. Um, a little while ago, I got a theory for Cinder. And like, Cinder's a character that I've always been having a lot of theories about, like I've always been wondering about her. And I thought of something the other day, and I don't know what caused it. To like pop into my head but i think of all of them this is the one that makes the most sense and if it's the case there could be a serious argument for people wanting to pity cinder and while that could be true it, it expands upon certain phrasings that have been used in the world of remnant and in ruby that were always kind of brushed under the rug when in reality like how you how you phrase things like that is always really important because it can I don't want to give too much away because I'm writing the script for it now, but it's... I am in, I, I'd be interested to see if this is correct. Especially considering the end of Volume 3 and how that would affect the situation. Alright, so that's enough rambling about Ruby on a Red vs. Blue video, but I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you guys continue to have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!